Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install I Hate Money on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So... Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today. I hate money. It's a uh, it's a tool for managing shared expenses and bills with friends or roommates. It allows users to track split expenses, manage debts, and simplify f financial transactions among a group of people. So, um. It's a really nice tool, and uh, it's built on Python. So I'll be showing you the Docker and Pose and how to get it installed and set up today. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And how I found I Hate uh, Money uh, is, is from the Big Bear community on the form. Um, so I'm going to go up to search right here and type I Hate Money. Oops. And then um, go to the director right here. And then I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So version 3.8 of Docker Compose file format is being used. I'm going to set some services. And the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear I Hate Money. The second service is called Big Bear I Hate Money DB. And this service right here will store data in this service. And it's connecting to the database from these credentials right here. So the container name is going to be called Big Bear I Hate Money. This is so uh, Docker doesn't have to set a random name on this uh, uh, this, uh, this service in Docker container. And then I'm going to uh, set the image uh, at I Hate Money, I Hate Money, and then it's coming off Docker Hub by default. And then the Docker image tag is 614. The ports are 8001 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then 8,000 on the container. Do not change the container port. And then the environment variables. So the secret key, I would change the secret key if I was you. And then uh, the database uh, credentials, the URI. The URI. So the, the username is Big Bear. The password is password. The Big Bear IoT DB is the service name down here. And then... Um, the uh, the database name is I Hate Money. So uh, I activate the admin dashboard. I'm gonna set that to true. The admin password uh, it, it, it is empty right now because we have to generate it with this. So we'll run this on the host of the dockage. So you'll have to SSH into the uh, host and then run the Docker run. And then session cookie secure is set to false so we don't get errors. And then restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then networks is Big Bear I Hate Money Network. This uh, is a network that's defined down here in the networks. It's a bridge network. And then Big Bear I Hate Money D DB, the service name and the container, the, uh, the container name are the same. And then the image is coming off of Docker by default. It's MariaDB. And then 10, MySQL is not supported uh, on the I hate money. And then environment variables. So MySQL root password is password. MySQL database is I hate money. The MySQL user is Big Bear. The MySQL password is password. Um, if you change the passwords right here, you will need to update the da database URI up here. Same thing with the username and same thing with the uh, da database name if you update it right here. So ports are 3306 and then on the containers 3306. The volumes are Big Bear MySQL da data and that is a volume that's defined down here. And then on the containers var lib MySQL. Networks is Big Bear I hate money network, and then that's defined down here. This is so we can use the name right here to connect to this service. So 
that's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. I'm going to go up here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed. So now I'm going to set up the Docker and Pose. So I'm going to start my dockage, go up to Compose right here, go to Stack Name, put IH Stack In. And then now I'm going to go over to the editor and paste in the Docker and Pose. Before we're able to deploy this Docker and Pose, I'm going to need to SSH into the host and run this command to generate the password. So now I'm going to save it up here and do not press start until we do that. So uh, now I'm going to go do that. So now I'm going to be in my uh, dockage. So what I did was SSH into the host and now I'm going to run it, uh, the Docker run command. So now I'm going to run it. And then it's going to ask for a password. So I'm going to put one in. Then I'm going to press enter. So now it's generated a SHA-256. So I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this uh, pasted in. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go to the stack over here, click it. Then I'm going to go to edit. So now if we go over to admin password right here, we're going to paste in the SHA-256 that we copied. And then now uh, you're, you're going to find the do dollar signs in this and you're going to duplicate the dollar sign. So now we have four dollar signs now. So two and two. So uh, this escapes it. So now we've done that. So we're going to deploy it. And what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting them up with Docker and Pose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. It set up the volumes and the network, things like that. So this can take a little bit. So now, as you can see, the logs are down here and they're both running now. So we got it up and running. So now I'm gonna go over the Dockage UI. So on the home page, you see statuses of your stack. So active, exited, and inactive. So it'll keep statuses of these stacks once you have more. So now we can go in the stack and we, we can have actions up here. So edit, restart, update, stop, and then stop and inactive, and then delete the stack. You can see all your containers in your stack. So you can get to the UI by clicking the ports. And this does not have any UI because it's a database, but this should. And then and now you can go into the container and you can switch to SH. There we go. It works. You can do the same thing with the da da database down here. You can see a read-only version of the Docker and Pose. And if you want to edit this Docker and Pose, you just click the edit button. Then now you can add a service underneath the services. And then there we go. It's added in the UI. Plus you can put an image in. And um, you can see it over in the UI over here. So now you can just delete it and it removes it from the editor over here. So you can add URLs. You can set environment variables and set networks, internal and external. Um, the actions up here, deploy, are, are, your, are your changes, save your changes, and then stop it inactive, and then discard your changes. I'm going to discard. So that's a little bit about the dockage UI. So now we're going to go in the UI and see if it works. Um, so when you're on dockage, you can easily see what's going on with the containers down here in the, uh, the logs. Um, so I'm going to go into the UI by clicking the 8001 right here. And then now you can try a demo. You can log into an existing project or you can create a new project. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to name this testing. And then um, you're going to need to pick a password. So I'm going to just go with this one. And then you're going to put an email address in. So now once you do that, um, you're going to create. So now we're in here. 
So um, you, you can add a, uh, a participant. So testing one and then add and then testing two and then add. So you, you can edit and the wait. You can go back and, uh, and now you can log in again. So if we did testing and then the private code is the password that you entered, then lo log in. So now we're back in there. Um, you can settle statistics and then you can go up here to start a new project, the history settings, and then um, the RSS feed. So you can add a new bill, when, what, who paid it, and then how much, and then you can have more options. So that's a little bit about I Hate Money. So I just went over step-by-step -step on how to get I Hate Money running on Dockage. Um, so if you like the tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.